When students think about fossil formation, they might picture something like this in their mind. Fossils where they can see the actual bones or tissues left behind in the rock layers. But not all fossils form this way. Some fossils form through the process of permineralization, and I'm gonna show you how you can show students this process. Begin by showing students a piece of petrified wood if you have access to one and ask students how did something like this turn into this over millions of years and get them brainstorming. The process of permineralization occurs when tissues that are old die and break down and minerals come in through water and as the water evaporates the minerals are left behind and they form stone over time they harden. So to show students this all you need is some Epsom salt, some water, and a sponge. You're going to start with about 100 milliliters of warm water and around 50 grams of Epsom salt. You take the Epsom salt, pour it into your water, and stir it until it is dissolved. As far as your sponge goes, you can cut it into a fun bone shape. You don't have to. Um, you can just cut it into squares. And I got uh, these styrofoam trays from the grocery store. If you would prefer smaller pieces to make it go faster, you can cut your sponge, like one sponge, into eight squares, and then they will fit in a Petri dish. So you are making here a super saturated solution. The Epsom salt is fully saturated into the water where not much more can be dissolved. You're going to take it and pour it over your sponge until it's fully saturated. And you want a little bit of water left over in your tray or Petri dish. Then you're gonna place it in a warm window, a warm place in your classroom, or under a heat lamp for about 24 hours. As students come back the next day, they're going to see something like this, where the water has evaporated and the Epsom salt is left behind and starting to fill up those holes in the sponge. So this represents the process of permineralization as water comes in full of nutrient uh, minerals, the water evaporates and the minerals are left behind, harden and turn to stone. If you'd like a lab worksheet that goes with the experiment students can fill out, I'll link to it in the description. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to hit subscribe.